Twitter files part three details internal debate over Trump's ban after Jan. According to the most recent report that was authorized by the new CEO of the company, Elon Musk, Twitter executives made the decision to ban then-President Donald Trump from their social media platform after the attack on the United States Capitol on January 6, 2021. One of the reasons for this decision was what an executive referred to as the context of actions taken by Trump and his supporters. An independent journalist by the name of Matt Taibai issued a series of tweets on Friday evening in which he revealed redacted communications that he said showed the internal debate that led to Trump's ban. According to one of the messages, we now examine tweets and think about them on a tweet-by-tweet -tweet basis, which does not take into consideration the context surrounding in an appropriate manner. The statement went on to say, you can use the example of yelling fire into a crowded theater, context matters, and the narrative that Trump and his friends have promoted throughout the course of this race and honestly for the past four and a half years must be taken into consideration. According to Tai Bai, the messages demonstrated how Twitter's internal standards deteriorated in the months leading up to January 6, with high-ranking executives violating their own policies while interacting with a variety of federal agencies. Tai Bai said the messages showed how Twitter's internal standards eroded. According to what he stated, before J6, Twitter was a unique blend of automatic, rules-based enforcement and more subjective moderation by senior executives. Twitter's J6 update was introduced in March of this year. As the election drew closer, senior executives, maybe under pressure from federal agencies, with whom they met more frequently as time passed, increasingly grappled with norms, and began to speak of vios, violations, as pretexts to do what they'd undoubtedly done anyway," said the author. The tweets that Taibai posted came a day after another independent journalist, Bari Weiss, published images that demonstrated how Twitter utilized hidden technologies to shadow ban certain individuals and restrict the postings that those people made on the network. After protesting against COVID-19 lockdowns, Dr. Jay Bhattacharya was placed on Twitter's Trends Blacklist which prompted him to write the following on Thursday, I'm interested about what role the government had in Twitter's suppression of COVID policy discussion. I think that only time will tell, he continued. We will see with time. Conservative pundits Dan Bongino, a host on Fox News, and Charlie Kirk, a radio host and activist with Turning Point USA, were both placed on a search blacklist and given the Do Not Amplify label, respectively. Bongino is a host on Fox News. Kirk is an activist with Turning Point USA. On Thursday night, Bongino vented his frustration on Sean Hannity's Fox News show, calling his treatment some Soviet-style bulls, T. On Friday, Kirk tweeted, We'll never know how different the country would be if they never put their thumb on the scale. Kirk went on to say that everything being said here is immoral, un-American, and ought to be a criminal offense six riot.